I did get a letter today um, from Mr. Godwin Haylock, who's the attorney for Darlene Padron. What had happened, I was in Punta Gorda last week when the news broke that there was an allegation that uh, Miss Fort or Forte, I don't want to mispronounce her name, she alleges that, or she alleged at the time that she was never the one to put a signature that appears to be hers on a document transferring the land from herself to Mr. Andre Vega and the never signed it in front of Ms. Pajon. I immediately instructed the Crown Council in the AG's ministry who is in charge of JPs to carry out as much a, of an investigation as we can carry out. I, she contacted the Miss Fort and her attorney. She contacted uh, Miss Padron and subsequently her attorney. And we have been trying to get statements from both of them. I was aware that Miss Fort had sent something to the Prime Minister, but as Attorney General, I was very concerned about her allegation basically saying that a GAP would have signed off on something for which she had not signed. But so far to date, um, up from last week Thursday to today, we've had none of them willing to give me anything official. We have been behind the attorney from Ms. Fort making countless phone calls, trying to get her to come in and speak to me or to write to me or to give me some official information as to what her position is. Um, same thing with Ms. Padron. I spoke to Ms. Padron's attorney on Friday, and he told me that by Monday today, we would, if anything were to be given by Ms. Padron, it would be given by him today. So today, true to his word, Mr. Haylock sent a letter to me that it is the position of Ms. Padron that indeed Ms. Fort came before her essentially came before her and signed the transfer in her presence, in Ms. Padron's presence.